Yo, what up, YouTube? What up, boxing fans? Man, it's been a while since I made a video, and, you know, I have my reasons. I usually don't get into, you know, my life uh, outside of making boxing videos, but uh, I have been unemployed for a long time, and that's how I've been able to constantly put out material uh, right when the news drops. I won't be able to do that anymore uh, because I recently got a job. Uh, it's 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 worth my time and uh, it's good experience considering I'm a university graduate and it's a field I'm interested in um, anyways Amir Khan um, he has not been able to find on a hundred and forty pound opponent uh, for his next fight like uh, apparently, the two guys he wanted to face was Jose Zito Lopez, who last fought at 154 against Canelo Alvarez, got blown out. But consider, you know, a fighter who just fought at 154, you really think he's going to drop all the way back down to 140? Nah, bro. <laughs> nah. <laughs> so, I, I really don't understand the Jose Zito Lopez, especially if you're not going to meet him at a catch weight. Like, are you going to try and drain them out like like your friend Manny Pacquiao same for uh, Vacheslav Sinchenko he's doing the same thing uh, draining guys from 147 to come down when the 140 pound division is stacked you got guys like Lucas Mathise um, you have guys like Zab Judah who could have made a fight but that got you know I understand why he can't fight Zab Judah. Maybe a rematch of Paul McCloskey. Like, maybe a Kareem Mayfield. He's at number three. Why not give Mayfield a shot? He doesn't seem uh, so, you know, like such a threat, in my opinion. I, I wasn't very impressed with Kareem Mayfield, just being honest. Um, you know, Lamont Peterson's going to clash heads with uh, Kendall Holt. It would be great. It would be great if Amir Khan can get the winner. But overall, it looks like Humberto Soto might be the one to get Amir Khan, which uh, to me, that's a mismatch. Humberto Soto doesn't belong at 140 pounds. And, uh, you know, maybe he should fight a Jose Luce again. You know, that to me, that's a decent, decent fight. Uh, and it would be a tough fight for Amir Khan as well. But guess what? Amir Khan is staying far away from these opponents. And I'd be surprised to see him, uh, you know, have a fight made with a guy like Creed Mayfield or a Jose Luce again. It looks like he wants to fight somebody at 147 and bring him down in weight, which makes no sense to me. Um, overall, Amir Khan has to step up and fight guys at his own weight. Uh, not guys coming up from 135 and not guys coming down from 147. Fight guys in the stacked 140 pound division. Even Pablo Cesar Cano, hell, he gave Malinaji a hell of a fight. Fight Cano, you know, he's he's ranked in the WBA at 140 pounds, but I know he just fought at 147, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, Amir Khan's got to start facing, you know, people in that stacked 140-pound division, or else he's just not going to get any respect from guys like Danny Garcia and the likes of Lucas Matisse, you know. Plus, we all know Khan ain't fighting no Lucas Matisse. That's just not happening. So anyways, Amir Khan's got to step up to the plate. Fight, fight, a, fight a real fighter, you know. Anyways, peace out, take care.